I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about related rates. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. A conical paper cup is 10 centimeters tall, with a radius of 10 centimeters. The cup is being filled with water so that the water level rises at a rate of 2 centimeters per second. At what rate is water being poured into the cup when the water level is eight centimeters? Okay, so we have a cone, a cone paper, a conical paper cup, and the formula for that, the volume of it is pi h cubed over three. And we get an image of this. Now, I'm gonna kind of roughly write this as scale, but um, it's a pretty wide cone for how deep it is right there, okay? Now this cone has a radius, r, and a height, right there, okay? Now, what, are they, what, what do we know about this, well, cone, okay? They said the cone is 10 centimeters tall, so the overall height of the cone is 10 centimeters, but the radius is 10 centimeters, so the height is 10 centimeters, and the radius is 10 centimeters as well. Okay, now we are given a rate that the water level, so the water in here, that water level is rising up at a rate of two centimeters per second. So the height of where the water is, is rising at a rate of two centimeters per second. And that we will call a rate, so dh dt, the height with respect to time, is two centimeters per second. Okay, I'm going to go SEC. All right, so what do we need to find? Well, they wanna tell us what is the rate, the, uh, at what rate is the water being poured into the cup when the water level is eight centimeters? So we're trying to find our dv dt here. The rate of the, or the rate at which the volume is changing, okay? Now, notice what's kind of conceptual here, the height two centimeters per second of the rate at which the water is increasing, all right, so the, uh, the height of it. So the water that's being poured in from this hose, or whatever, right, is going in, is actually increasing, right? It's going faster and faster to keep up that rate because the volume gets larger and larger. Um, there's more volume per the height of two centimeters per second going on there. So more water is actually being pumped in faster and faster to keep that height at a constant rate of two centimeters per second. Just something to know. All right, so let's take our formula and let's derive this with respect to time. So we take our d over dt of our volume, and it's equal to d over dt of the other side, which is pi h cubed over three. Now, luckily for us, we can take the constant pi and three and kind of put it out front. All right, so we have pi over three here, make it a little easier, d over dt of just h to the third power. And we write this down here, d over dt of my volume, okay? Now, the derivative of or the, with respect to time of the volume is just that dv dt. And look, that's something we're looking for, our answer. So we're all on the right track here. Pi over three can just stay out front. And let's der derive here height cubed with respect to time. Now, power rule, chain rule kind of going on here. Remember, h is a, a function of time here, or it's gonna be. Three comes out front. Power rule, h stays the same. Subtract the exponent by one, we have h squared. Multiply that by the derivative of h with respect to time is that dh dt, okay? So now at this point, it's a plug and play operation, okay? We're gonna plug in what we know for our variables and cancel out this three, because that's easy to see. So we have dv dt is equal to pi times our height at the moment we're talking about here now they tell us this happens when the water level is at eight centimeters, so should put that down. The height we're looking for, specifically, not the overall height of the cone, be careful there, the height at the moment we're looking for is eight centimeters where this happens. So somewhere like maybe around here, all right? And that height here, I'll say is eight centimeters, okay? Now, so the eight centimeters, so we have eight centimeters, we're squaring that, times our rate of the height changing is two centimeters per 
per second. So what does that come out to be? Well, we multiply this all out. 8 squared times 2 is a 128. We still have the pi, okay? And our units here, well, we have centimeters squared times another centimeter, so that's centimeters cubed per second which makes sense because we're talking about the rate of a volume changing and should be centimeter cubes per second. And so here, our final answer, at what rate is the water being poured into the cup when the water level is eight centimeters, is 128 pi centimeters cubed per second. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.